a lot of times when I post these videos on YouTube, I get questions from friends and family in the area that want me to build these projects for them. So a lot of times I'll build a project a second time and you guys don't see me build the second one because I recorded the first one. I'm not going to record the project twice. But today I actually was asked to build a project for my brother and his wife for at their house. And so if you stay tuned, I'll show you how I built this small entertainment center for them to go in there and live in their studio epic. We're starting out ripping our plywood into three 12 inch pieces. I'm using this rip fence here to help me cut, make straight cuts. For my saw, I need to measure over 13 and a half inches and attach it on each side. Then I can run my saw up against this and it'll cut it at 12 inches and make a straight cut all the way down. We cut the first three boards at 12 inches, which means that this board is a little less than 12 inches because of the blade width. This last strip we're going to cut, we're going to cut at three inches. So I'll place my rip fence at four and a half so I can make a three inch cut. Here I have all three of my one foot boards lined up on the saw. I'm gonna cut them all three at 40 inches. I will have to come back and cut two of these at 38 and a half after the fact. The next cut I'll make is gonna be at 30 inches and I need to cut two of them at this length. The last double cut that I'll need to make is going to be at 16 inches. I'm going to go ahead and cut the two boards that need to be cut down to 38 and a half now. I also need to make, cut my three inch wide board into two 38 and a half inch pieces. Now these dividers are going to end up in offset from the ends, but I'm just going to clamp them on the ends 
down here just to give me a spot to be able to put the shelf that's going across here just like this. So I put some glue on the ends here. I'm going to go ahead and set one side down. Kind of push out on this side. Then let it come together. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue and screw these next boards in. So now I'm coming back and putting trim on the part of this. What I had is I had some, this is a 1x4 that's going to rip an inch and a half wide. And we're going to put trim on all the front of this. I'm going to glue it for sure. I'm going to put a couple screws in it. And I do think that since this is going to be painted, it's not a big deal putting screws in this and putting it and sanding it off. As you can see here, I'm finishing up putting the last few nails and screws in on the face plates on the front. You're not going to see me sand and putty and, and paint this, and that's because I actually had some help and I did exactly how my brother's wife wanted it done, so she painted it her way. And you'll see the finished product here in just a couple of seconds. Thanks for checking out my, <clears throat> Thanks for checking out my next project. And if you would, just take a moment and hit that subscribe button and you'll be able to stay in tune with all the videos I have coming out. Also, if you would, there's a link below that will have a link to my Twitter page. Once they get this thing filled out with uh, the TV and whatever else they're going to put in here as decor, I'll try to remember to post a picture on Twitter of that. But this here is the finished project. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and as always, y'all will see me next time.